Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. And welcome, welcome if you're new to my channel. Welcome back everyone. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not a private reading. And if this doesn't resonate for you, that's okay. Um, maybe check out some of my other readings. My readings are timeless. And... If you see a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> this is an interesting reading. What's going on here? Yeah, this is very interesting. I want to know more. I'll, I'll explain why, because you'll be like, what the heck? We'll be on the same page because I'm shocked. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I see here that this uh, karmic person, um, whoever this resonates for, there has been a, a separation between a divine masculine and a karmic person. And in this reading, this karmic person is happy about the separation this is the first reading i've seen the karmic being really happy like they are genuinely happy relieved that the divine mask and them have split up strange right <laughs> that is very strange okay so now i'm gonna go further what's up with that Ah, okay. So this is why this karmic person is happy that they separated. This karmic person was um, indecisive. Like they had a decision to make between two people. This karmic person felt like they were stuck. They felt like they they liked the company of this divine masculine, but they they had a soulmate or somebody else in their life. Um, this karmic person didn't know how to um, how to decide between two people. I feel like they were uh, confused with their emotion. Um, this karmic person, uh, the other person that they are interested in is actually a soulmate. So this karmic person is, I feel destined to be with this soulmate. Um, it's showing here that since the karmic person was unable to make that decision, the divine stepped in and made that decision for both the divine masculine and this karmic person. So now that these two separated, this karmic person is happy. So what does that mean for the divine masculine? This was something unexpected for the divine masculine when the separation happened and the reaction of the karmic person being happy being fine with it really threw this divine masculine off um this divine masculine's like uh if that was the case why was this person staying in this connection with me to begin with if they if they're okay with not being with me so i see here that because these two have separated now karmic is happy they're doing their thing they're living their life with this soulmate whoever this is that that is actually um, the end to the karmic cycle for the uh, for the divine masculine. So this divine masculine is no longer in a karmic cycle. So he is single, whoever this is. Um, I feel like he is kind of like shocked that that this karmic person never really. Um, it's like they, they are not affected by the separation. They, they are shocked by their reaction. Um, I see here that this divine masculine is not going back. He's, he's very stubborn. He's like, I'm not going to. And I feel like it's a little bit of a pride thing too. It's like, if you're going to be like that, I'm not, I, don't want you, I don't want you in my life either. Um, I don't feel like this divine masculine has intense emotion for this karmic. I feel like they were both... Um, confused uh it looks like that divine masculine was trying to actually find the strength within him to figure things out like 
is this really how it's supposed to be? Is this how my life is supposed to be? Am I meant to be in a connection like this with the karmic person? This divine masculine was confused along with the karmic. But it shows here that the cycle has closed for both. So that connection between those two has ended. This karmic person has moved forward with the soulmate. They've spoken to the soulmate already. They told them about their separation with Divine Masculine. So this karmic person is already um, moved forward. They've they started something with this uh, soulmate. Like they they put their energy in that in that connection now. This karmic person was feeling tired. I feel like they were tired of juggling two two people. It was very draining for this karmic person. Yeah, this uh, the, it got to a point where it was very tire, tiring for both the divine masculine and the karmic individual. Karmic person was being um, kind of like uh, they were being stubborn as well. They didn't want to be the one to um, step away from the connection. And they were confused about who to who to um, choose, who's the, it feels like they were doing a comparison, like who's the best bet, that's, that's what I'm getting, who's the best bet, but the divine, um, I feel like the divine made the decision for these two, there's not going to be any kind of re reconnection or anything like that, this karmic is gone, whoever this is for. And just keep in mind, this this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Um, but it's showing here that whoever this karmic person is, is happy that they are disconnected from the divine masculine. They're actually in celebration. I feel like they like this soulmate. Um, they have more feelings towards the soulmate than the divine masculine. That's why they felt a little bit trapped, a little bit stuck. I feel like in some cases, um, they stayed because of, um, they had a specific reason why they stayed in that connection with the Divine Mask. In some cases, it can be because of family. So, okay, so moving on. Yeah, shocking, right? Like... <laughs> Karmic person is happy. That's a, that's a first. Okay. Well, we wish you good luck. We send you good energy, Karmic. Go your way. Go your way with the soulmate. Stay blessed. Be happy there. Okay. So, Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, this reading, um, is showing here that he was really... Um, unsure about his life he was very like in the dark about things um, even when the I feel like even when the reality was there even when things were obvious he chose not to see see I feel like look deeper within or to really evaluate or to uh, yeah it's like evaluate the situation or to look for more, I feel like he was scared to seek. Um, it has something to do with like, he felt scared to find out more because he was worried that what will I, what will be revealed? He was worried about what will be revealed if he, if he looked further into it. Um, that was the past. So that was when he was with the karmic person. He, he was really worried about what he would find out. So he chose to be in, in the dark. This was a divine masculine who couldn't see and he chose not to look further. Now this divine masculine has clarity and he's realizing that the importance of knowledge, the importance of being aware, his awareness can make a big difference in the connection he is in. 
This divine masculine has clarity. He knows what he wants. This is somebody who may be at a distance um, from his divine feminine. It's showing here that this divine masculine is planning to make a move, um, make major changes in his life. Um, this is like life-changing decisions. So he may be moving to a new area, a new place, new, starting a new job. I feel like in some cases, this divine masculine may have already started um, looking for work in a specific area prior to moving. So that when he does move, he already has a job waiting for him. This is somebody who's already doing the preparation, preparing. This divine masculine, he he was kind of like unsure, like should I should I do this or should I not? Should I go for it or should I not? Should I move or should I not? Um, he was like back and forth about it, but he's already decided that this is something that I need to do for myself. I feel like he knows that in order to have a better life for himself, he needs to make he needs to make big decisions and he needs to take that um, that chance. So he's like the only person that's holding me back is me. So he's realizing that if he doesn't make certain decisions or he doesn't make certain movements that he will only be taking away from himself, from having a good life. He wants a new beginning. This Divine Masculine is doing a lot of research. I feel like he's going online, doing a lot of research about um, the new lifestyle. So it has to do with where he's planning to move. He may be doing research about the location, the area, um, place to stay, that sort of thing. He's doing a lot of preparation. I just see here new, new beginning and movement. This is a divine masculine who's at a distance from divine feminine. Physically distance. There's travel here. Travel, 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 movement. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. New place. I see so much travel here. This is somebody who, who is preparing to move from a distance, closer to divine feminine. They are really doing a lot of research. They're doing research online. They're, they are preparing their work. They are saving money. They already know where they're supposed to go. They're being guided by the divine. This divine masculine, he's, he's, I feel like he may be getting downloads or he, he's really listening to his intuition right now. I feel like he's he's getting getting the hang of it. It feels like he's practicing, you know, like trying to hear clearly, trying to feel the feelings, trying to sense um, what the divine is trying to share with him. He's starting to pay attention to those things. In the beginning, as I mentioned, he was in the dark, right? He chose not to look deep within, to see further, to get to the bottom of things. Now he's going deep within. He's seeking for guidance. He's open to that communication. He's open to his intuitive side. And he's being guided to move, make a move. He knows that in order to have the life that he's, he's always dreamt of, and he knows that that life involves the divine feminine, so he has to move closer to the divine feminine in order for this to take place. I feel like this divine masculine and what I'm seeing here too, he knows that he put a lot of energy and effort into a connection that didn't work. It's like if I did all this stuff for this karmic person, I did this, this and this and this amount of time and this much effort I put into the karmic connection. I did it for the karmic person. The least I can do is make this life-changing decision for both the Divine Feminine and I so we can have union. They are recognizing that the least that they can do 
even if it's something huge like this, I feel like it's a life-changing thing, something big. But they are willing to do it because they recognize that that's, that, that is something small. For them, it's something small now. It's like, I will change my entire life, way of living for you. I will live in a new place for you. I will learn a, le learn a new language for you. I feel like they are going to do, they are going to make big life changing decisions for this divine feminine so that you two will be together. They know that the divine feminine has done a lot already on their part. It's like now it's my turn. It's my turn to step up. This is a divine masculine who will stand strong, who will make a life changing decision. I see here the first step is to make that movement towards Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, um, in this reading, I will be very honest here. You will not get a call yet. There's no communication here yet from your Divine Masculine. This is a Divine Masculine who will get everything done first. Make sure everything is in order before he makes that move. I feel... Literally, it's going to be a move. Feels like from one side to another. I see here that it's, uh, it's not going to be easy for this Divine Masculine to do so because he's trying to get things done, task. I feel like task done. At the same time, he's preparing for the life in this new place. He may be making phone calls, maybe doing research. Showing here that he's doing a lot of um, trying to get information about um, the new place. He's trying to get new, new information. He may be making phone calls. Something about transportation, preparing transportation, how to commute, how to move. Some may be purchasing a vehicle. They're packing their bags. They're going to pack their bags. I see something about letting go of the old life, preparing for the place they're about to go. They will pack their bags. They will literally go. This is, this is somebody who's traveling towards this divine feminine. Whoever this resonates for, this is somebody who's at a distance. Right now, I don't see any communication between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. This is all Divine Masculine's plan. <laughs> this is a Divine Masculine who's like got something going on behind the scenes. And Divine Feminine, you, you don't know what's happening because there's no communication here. This is a Divine Masculine's already decided, made up his mind. He's like, I'm going to make sure everything is done before I actually start communicating with Divine Feminine. I feel like he doesn't want to call you first and then things don't work out. He's like, I want to make sure things work out smoothly. And then I'm going to let the Divine Feminine know that I'm coming. That's what I feel. This is, and I feel like you know this about your Divine Masculine. You've seen this in your Divine Masculine before, whoever this resonates for. This is somebody who will not give a final answer before things are done. It's like, make sure everything is in place, order done, and then they will give their, the information. I feel like, for example, like say if you two in the past planned a special date, right? You wanted to eat at a certain restaurant. This Divine Masculine will make sure that restaurant, that booking is done beforehand, that he has everything prepared, that make sure that your favorite dishes are um, available. They're on the menu, that you have your favorite dessert or you have that um, special outing afterwards. Everything is prepared beforehand before he takes you out on that date. He will not be the type who just takes you to that restaurant and then you find out all the seats are filled. 
There's nowhere to sit. You might have to wait an hour or two. This is somebody who makes sure that everything is done beforehand. So when you two are ready to have that beautiful dinner, it's already prepared for you. It's done. I feel like he wants to impress his divine feminine. He wants to have everything settled. And what I'm visualizing is somebody's going to get a place to stay. And I've, I'm visualizing furniture moving in. You won't even know that he's preparing his own place. <laughs> this is somebody who's coming in your neighborhood. <laughs> coming in your neighborhood. He's got his own place. He's moving his stuff in there. Wow. He's, he's going to settle in first. He's going to be well settled in. And he's going to surprise you. This is somebody who's going to really surprise you. Because he's made a decision to move, to live a life there with you. So, yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Somebody is moving. Yep, this Divine Masculine is going to be hush-hush. He's not going to tell anybody. I feel like he's not going to even tell um, even family members, some family members. I feel like he may feel that something about that they may um, prevent him. Um, oh, you don't want to lose. This is what I feel. Oh, you don't want to lose your, your job. You don't want to leave the job you're at right now. You're doing well. You've just settled. You finally settled in over there. Why do you want to leave that place? Oh, you don't want to go back. You don't want to, you know reconnect with the divine feminine i feel like there's going to be people who are going to use different excuses to prevent this divine masculine from moving and this divine masculine is well aware of it so this divine masculine is not going to speak i feel like he's not going to tell anyone it shows that it's he's hiding it he's hiding that information he's not going to tell anybody about him resettling to somewhere new he's not going to say about relocating moving anywhere it's like they will know when i do it it's like when i do it they'll they'll figure it out they'll find out and then they can say whatever it's, they want because it's already done that's what i feel this divine masculine is like i'm gonna move they'll know that i've already moved and then by then it's too late because i'm already here i'm already I'm already <laughs> on the porch at my Divine Feminine's place. Yep, so that's the reading for today. Um, I hope you like this reading. This is just somebody who's really anxious to, to travel. This is somebody who's ready to move forward. And what I like about this reading, this karmic is already, they're happy wherever they're at. They've moved forward, so that's good. Blessings to them. That's where the karmics need to be, right? They need to release and end their cycle as well. So because they're part of this journey, they have their own their they have their own purpose, right? Their own place is to awaken the divine masculine. This karmic person has served their purpose and they've they've moved on. They've moved moved on with their soulmate. So they're on their journey now. Okay, so I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.